All right, this is a quick video on dual axis, just to explain the different things that are going on with different kinds of dual axis or multiple axis uh, kinds, of, kinds of visualizations. I'm just going to create a simple graph with sales and profit. Now note, when we put sales and profit both under rows, we get exactly what we've asked for. We get columns, one column of visualizations, two rows, two rows of visualizations. When we, one way that we might choose to do a profit versus sales graph is to use the dual axis feature in Tableau. I'm going to click the drop down on profit and choose dual axis. Now out of the box this has some visual issues in that it seems to imply that the blue line profit is higher than the line for sales. We can see very obviously that this is because the two dual axes are not of the same scale and I can correct that very quickly simply by right-clicking the axis and choosing synchronize axis. It figures out which axis is the larger axis and it makes them both equi equivalent sizes. Now this obviously corrects the issue of the lines not reflecting the magnitude of the data but also we have an issue when if we wish to maybe have a third line, because I can't add a third axis, a, a triple axis. So there's another way to do this. If I want to potentially write, have three uh, measures on the axis, I can take some of profit and I can drag it here, and a bunch of things happen when I do this. Notice that sum is gone, measure values is here, measure names has been added to filters, measure names has been added to color, and the measure values that are here have been um, added to the measure value shelf. Now, let's take a look at what happened. The measure names pill contains all of the measures that I have. So if I edit the filter, you see that all of the measures that are listed down here, discount, profit, profit ratio, quantity, sales, number of records, all of them are listed here. If I want to add now a third line to my graph, I just add it to the filter, and now I have a third line. Now, obviously, this is not a great choice because it's such a different order of magnitude between sales and quantity. But it shows that if I want to get beyond a dual axis and use maybe multiple uh, measures on, on a single axis, this is how I would do it. Now we could have just built this ourselves from scratch. If I go ahead and drag measure names onto my uh, colors and I put measure values and I put order date into my columns and I put measure values into my rows, I get all of the measure values. That's why Tableau adds the measure names into the filter and only chooses the ones that you, you wish to use. So this is creating that original graph from scratch without asking Tableau to, to do it for us. And so you see here how we can put more than one measure plotted on one line graph um, is simply by using the measure names and measure values fields in Tableau. So the measure names and measure values are very powerful. The reason that we would choose to use a dual axis graph is if we wanted to use a different order of magnitude y axis graph. So here I've got my profit and my sales. And just for fun, let's create another graph that has quantity, make this a dual axis, and then let's make our quantity graph a column chart. Okay, so we see that it's here. Maybe I should rearrange these so that my lines are on top. Probably should change my color so that it's a little bit um, further in the, um, maybe it's just a little bit less overlapping. At least then I can see my color on top of my um, columns. Still, in my opinion, these are difficult to interpret because it's difficult to tell which um, access to, it goes with which uh, measure, but if you need to do this, this would be how you would do it. You could do a multiple uh, measure line graph on one axis, and you could do another line graph or column graph or any other kind of graph on the other axis. The key reason as to why I would do this is if I, one, want to use different marks for the two graphs, or two, those axes are of significantly different levels of magnitude.